Coco Moon in downtown Brainerd features many artists. This month, artist Lisa Ackerman has her very unique work on display, known as collage out of mono printing papers. Mono printing papers are different from regular papers in that they have a real painterly effect, so they make for a unique end product. For this process to take place, Lisa uses a jelly plate and acrylic paints to make a mono print. Anytime you pull a print from a gelatin plate, you only get one. Um, you can't replicate it. So each print that you get, every paper that you get is unique. When making a batch of papers on the mono printing plate, the artist can relinquish some control, but there are no specifics on when a piece will be completed. I may not get the color exactly as I would like it, so you have to keep building up layers and keep pulling prints. So it can take me a full day of creating papers in order just to have materials ready for making a collage. In many types of art, artists see other ideas and add their own voice and touch. Lisa comes from a different perspective. My approach is kind of um, a little irreverent sometimes, but very, very much steeped in nature. So you might see um, crows in my pieces that are acting crow-like, uh, but I don't take it too seriously. For those looking to try a new hobby and try out their artistic side, you might be surprised at how inexpensive this is. The art of mono printing is pretty accessible. If you have a gelatin plate and a brayer and paint, I just use copy paper. So it's a really inexpensive medium once you have the tools to do it. Reporting in Brandon with this week's In Focus, Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.